So that's pigments. So we've just got some optional packages to take care of. So that's FOP, Glib. We can't do because GTK doc needs it because we're going to build the API documentation and which we've already got XML, LXML we've already got so it's just FOP we need to do and FOP is under section 50 which is right at the end there it is there So I'll fetch the file. There's some additional downloads, so two required downloads. Okay, that's interesting, that one's not found. That's unfortunate. Let's try the other one. Right, okay, that's not found. Let's try the optional one. Okay, so that's taken us to um, SourceForge for the looks of it. So we need to find the area where we can download via a direct link. So we go down to this problems downloading. Um, oh, didn't need to do that. Let's go back. Problems downloading, let's follow the links to this one. And go down a page. Yeah, please use this direct link, that's what we want. So press enter there. Yes. Oh, is it asking for a cookie, is it? Yeah, let's do it always. Yes. And download. So we've got the main package and we're downloading the recommended. We need to find out why these two um, links aren't working. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not finding it at all. Looks like the site's completely down at the moment, so this may be, I don't know, it looks like 2.018 is not there. That's the problem, so it's been superseded already. Um, let me check the BLFS books if she says anything about these. Let's see. Yeah, here it is, PDF box and font box, and these are the two um, packages, PDF box and PDF font fonts. So, what does it say that, please use the 2.019 version of these packages instead, and it's got the MD5 sums there, so we can validate them if we like. So, okay, let's, um, well, let's save this file first. Go back. 
and we need to we'll press G to go to the website. So it's G, and we can just type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. In fact, we can actually copy this. Just put in PDF box and part of the version number and type in 19. So that's the version that's there. And you'll see that we'll get this um, page up in links. Yep. So what we need is one called PDF box and the version number 2.0.18. So PDF, what's wrong one? PDF box. So it's one of these dot jar. So it's that one there is the one we need. PDF box dash two dot o dot one nine. So I'll download that and save it. And the other one we need is called font box. And that's that one there. So I press D to download it, save it, and now I'm going to press left arrow, left arrow, and we're back to the LFS page. So let's now just check those MD5 sums being there slightly different. So MD5 sum. Is it lowercase, is it? So, yep, they match. Yeah, that's fine. So we can get rid of that one. Go back to FOP. All oh, right, okay, we've got a dependency here. Required Apache. Okay, we're getting deep down here if we're needing Java at this stage. So um, I think what I'm going to do is, is this a, oh, it's an optional for tests. I'm going to ignore FOP at the moment now, after all that, um, and leave this until we've got, or oh, we're in a position to install um Java again this needs glib as a requirement and that's what we're trying to get around to install so this is obviously like a circular dependency here if we want to go any further yeah and we need X windows to run the test so yeah I'm gonna ignore this and just go straight for the build of GTK doc So I'll go back, just kind of dot, where is this, chapter 11. One dot three two. Um, I can't remember if we downloaded the packages or not now. GTK, no, I haven't downloaded them yet. So let's do that. Go back. There's no other downloads. So let's extract it. And I'm just going to do this by hand. In fact, I'm going to recall the command. Um, Yeah, that was a good one there. So configure minus minus prefix equals full slash user. And run make. Oh, hang on. It's saying could not find docbook XML DTD 4.3. Oh, that's interesting. I 
Okay, let's see if there's any errata for this one. It's live. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Um, oops. Let's just double check we've installed these. So I've got .book XML 4.5, .book XSL 179, which is that one there, .2, ITS tool we've installed, and libxslt we've installed, pigments we've installed, even though it's a runtime requirement. Optional modules can easily install the PIP3 command. Oh, that's very strange. Um, let's rerun this. I'm going to copy the commands this time just in case there's something subtle that I've missed. I doubt it. I'm just going to run this configure user. Say here, warning: neither DB Latex nor FOP found no PDF output from XML. Look at the XML catalog. So it's looking specifically for V4.3, and yet the book is telling us about 4.5. Um, right. Um, right, what I'm going to just do now is just check I haven't missed something. Right, there is no dogbook XML 4.4. Three, because this is the package that had three versions: 4.5, 5.0, and 5.1. And, and 4.5 is the lowest number. Um, ah, right. Okay, I know what it is now. I've misread something. Um, what we need to do, let me delete this. And go to, um, let me load this in a new a new tab. If we go to the um, dot book XML page, I misread this. I thought this stuff here was for removing previous versions. It's not that. It says in order to utilize this version 4.5 when any version 4.x is requested and system identifier, which is what's happening here, but it looks like it's asking for 4.3. You need to add the additional statements to the catalog files. Oh, this is a bit that threw me. If you have any of the .book XML disease references below already installed. All oh, right, I see what it's saying. It's saying to remove the existing ones and then add in this 4.5 version. So we need to copy this in 
So we just go to dot put XML 4.5 on the manual and paste this code in. Oh, I could have gone to it then. There was a link there. So it's this script at the back end here. This bit here. So let me get rid of these two browsers. Let's copy this. Oh, this should be as the root, I believe, actually, shouldn't it? Yep. So let's post that again. Next page. All the way up to that thumb command. And press enter. Okay, so now hopefully this will work. Let's rerun the configure command. Yeah, it's worked this time. So that, that was me misreading the instructions, misunderstanding the instructions. Right, so let's get rid of that one and bring back this one. Okay, so now we can run make. And we can test the results with make check. Oh, it does say that we've got to install it first, didn't it? I think somewhere. hang if a, if a package or a previous version is not already installed so let's become the root make install and I presume we just run this as a normal user let's see what happens while well, we've got two failures mkhtml so that could be something to do with these um, packages here yeah some tests will fail depending on optionally installed packages and we haven't got all the optional packages installed so that's okay right so that was gtk doc which is in section 11 and I'm going to rebuild that one as well later on. GTK doc in section 11.